Uh, Christina, thank you. We're going to talk about how the virus is impacting the economy and business. Joining us tonight is Frederick W. Smith, CEO of FedEx. He's in Memphis tonight. Thanks for being here. Glad to be here, Brett. How do you see this? Uh, your company is uniquely positioned in what you do, but how do you see how this is affecting the world and the world of business? Well, we first got into the coronavirus situation with our operations in China. Uh, some of your viewers may not know we operate virtually every place in the world. We move packages and freight to both people and businesses. So in uh, Wuhan, China, which was the epicenter of the coronavirus, we had 907 employees. We began to uh, deal with the issue very early on. You might be interested to know of those 907, four of them were diagnosed with COVID-19, uh, two erroneously, all four of them have uh, recovered. Uh, we continue to operate uh, every place in the world. China at the moment, about 90% of the big manufacturing uh, companies in China are back to work. Smaller manufacturers, probably 60 to 65% large backlogs from China now to the United States and, and to Europe, interestingly enough, even though Europe, where we have about 50,000 employees, a small number of diagnosed cases, is in certain cases under lockdown. We're permitted to operate as uh, essential transportation. So we're dealing with it every place. Yeah. So for people, I want to get to the health of your company and look kind of forecast about business. But I want to talk about the, the practical running your company uh, for people accepting a package. Uh, what do you tell them about interacting with your folks and how are you keeping your people healthy and safe? Well, the number one consideration when we first came up with this uh, issue was the health of our teammates and the safety of our teammates. Uh, we have large flying operation in and out of China and throughout Asia. To give you an idea of the scope of that, just last week we had 200 and almost 50 flights in and out of uh, China. So we have taken extraordinary measures, uh, just cleansing everything, making sure the places where our pilots stayed were completely uh, disinfected, uh, masked, and uh, surgically uh, protective equipment in certain places for our ground employees, both the WHO and the, our CDC, the World Health Organization and our uh, uh, CDC uh, have said that the virus is not transmittable on packages, so we don't have any risk there, although we've done things like suspend signature delivery requirements. Uh, except in the case of uh, alcohol and things like that. So the, your company reported sales surprisingly growing right through this virus, although you, you pulled back on the earnings guidance going forward because you, you simply don't know. No one really does. I guess as you look forward, do you expect layoffs or is the low cost of fuel going to buffer you a little bit? How, how do you foresee it? Well, based on what we saw in China uh, with the lockdown there, uh, China's uh, cases peaked at about 85,000. And as Dr. Fauci has been talking about on TV, uh, the curve flattened, which is what the president and all of the political leaders are trying to do with the social uh, distancing. Uh, and so that actually happened in China. Uh, then you had Europe get the, uh, get the virus, uh, particularly uh, Italy and uh, to a lesser degree Spain and, and Germany and now France and uh, the UK. And so uh, you have again had a lockdown as they did in China. So you should start to see uh, flattening there. And of course we've taken extraordinary measures here. Uh, today the auto manufacturers announced they were shutting down many of the stores have shut down, so that will affect our business-to-business -business traffic. But you mentioned a moment ago, Walmart uh, is delivering a significant amount of, of items and their uh, business is up. Well, we deliver uh, millions and millions of items over uh, the, the period of time we're talking about for Walmart. They're one of our great customers, as many other retailers are, like. 
Target and Kohl's and, and so forth. So we're involved on that side of the equation too, supplying people who are staying at home. Yeah, you're a member, though, of the Dow Transports, uh, which obviously includes commercial airlines, and they are just really obviously taking a hit, and, and their forecast uh, not that bright. What is your thought about uh, what the federal government should be doing? Do you expect help from the federal government? Well, we don't at the moment. We're, we've taken extraordinary uh, steps to make sure we've got adequate uh, liquidity, uh, and I think we've planned well for that. Uh, in the case of the passenger airlines, of course, we have a significantly different situation. Our purple tails are flying across the Pacific and across the Atlantic. The passenger carriers who carry a lot of cargo, including uh, some for us and their underbellies, are mostly shut down. So they just have a tremendous problem with no revenue coming in. So we don't have problems like they do, and I'm confident that, uh, that the administration is going to do something to help them perhaps invest uh, preferred shares, warrants on top of it like uh, they did during the financial crisis, loan guarantees, and I suspect they'll do the same thing for our great aircraft manufacturer, Boeing. Last thing, really quickly. I, I'm sensing that you see a light at the end of the tunnel here, but from all the things that are talked about from the federal government, uh, you had Larry Kudlow suggesting to reporters that if the, the government puts into some companies uh, some significant amount, that they might take a piece of that company as far as equity. You buy into that? Well, that's what the government did when they uh, had the rescue of Chrysler years back. It's what they did during the financial crisis, as I recall, with AIG and actually uh, took a big piece of straight equity there, made quite a bit, of, a bit of money. But I'm very confident if that's the route that the administration chooses, our great airlines, if they can have some help with some preferred shares, will make a lot of money for the government and they'll be able to redeem the shares in pretty short order. I would think this is going to be a V-shaped recovery, not a long, drawn-out situation based on what we've seen in China, and uh, we're hopeful in that regard. Well, Mr. Smith, we appreciate your time, and uh, we hope you keep delivering all those packages around the world. Thank you very much. Thank you.